Here we are in a giant field full of travel trailers, but we found some awesome ones with bunk beds. Stick around, folks. You're going to want to check these out. Hey everybody, Mike from RV Blogger here in front of the camera and Susan's behind the camera and today we're going to take a look at awesome travel trailers with bunk beds. Hey, if you've seen us before on YouTube, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time seeing us, welcome aboard. Susan and I make YouTube videos every single week all about RVing and we also have our website called rvblogger.com where we have hundreds of articles all about RVing as well. And if that's not enough, we also have our monthly digital video magazine called RV Camping Magazine. It's totally free for you to subscribe and we invite you to do so at the link that I'll pop in the notes down below. But today, we're gonna to be taking a look at awesome travel trailers with bunk beds. So without any further ado, let's get started with our reviews. This travel trailer is the KZ Sportsman Classic 181 BH model. Its unloaded vehicle weight is just 2,980 pounds, so it's nice and light. You can tow this thing with a wide variety of vehicles. The gross vehicle weight rating on it is 3,500 pounds, so that means you have about 500 pounds of gear and supplies that you could load in here and not overload the trailer. And the length on it is 20 feet, 11 inches long. Now, when you first walk into this travel trailer you've got your bed on the right hand side and then everything else to your left um, but on the right hand side you'll notice you've got a what looks to be a full-size bed and it is it's 54 inches wide and it looks to be the full 80 inches long while i have my tape measure out let me get the ceiling height in here as well and that is six feet six inches tall so Decent amount of headspace in here. I do want to point out the video probably looks pretty crooked right now. <laughs> we're at a dealership and this RV is parked on a hill. So we're kind of leaning downhill in one way, but that's what's going on with that. Um, the bed up front is pretty cool because you can lift up the mattress and there is some storage that you can get to under here. It's quite a bit of storage, but the access to it is kind of small, but there's also two compartments on the outside that you can use to access that storage space as well. Overhead here, there's plenty of storage up top. So you've got these nice cabinets built in for that. You'll also notice over top, we, we have a USB port on one side, an electrical receptacle on the other, and then you've got three windows up here also. So nice and bright and airy, which is all good stuff. I'm gonna guess that this is where the TV location would be um, it's got a panel here that's, that's blocked out. I would imagine that's for a cable um, so you can hook up your TV over here. Not positive, but I think that's the way it is. So the kitchen in here is an inline kitchen setup. Everything's just in one line. One thing I really like about this kitchen is it's got a good amount of counter space here to the left of the sink. We do have a single bowl sink in the center and then a two burner range next to that. Down below here, there are four big base cabinets. So lots of storage underneath there. And then doesn't appear that there's any drawers, but behind this cabinet, there are a bank of drawers and these are fully removable. So, you know, that makes it pretty easy and convenient if you need to get to things. Up top, you've got a little bit of a sound system here that you can get to. Nice big storage cabinet here as well. And then a regular microwave oven up top. It's not a not a convection oven, um, and I wish it was because there's no oven in this RV, but at least you know, and you've got a burner and a microwave to cook with. And then you have, everything's kind of leaning over here, <laughs> a nice big refrigerator, and this is really nice and deep. I mean, that freezer goes in you know, really far back, so uh, good size fridge and separate freezer. Directly across from the kitchen, you have a very nice wide dinette. You could easily seat four people here and everybody would be nice and comfortable. It's got a nice big window over top, which is always nice, light above that. Now each of these, each side on the dinette, you can remove the seat cushion and then there's a piece of plywood underneath, remove that and you have plenty of storage underneath each of the dinette seats as well. Right behind the dinette, is where we have a set of bunk beds. Each bunk bed has its own window, top and bottom, has its own light, top and bottom, 
So that's convenient. And then at the end of the bunk beds, here's a receptacle so the kids can plug in and play their games or watch videos or whatever they do. So here I am in the bathroom and I'm standing in the shower like I always am. And in this shower, see how much headroom we have. It doesn't really have a skylight, but it's got a fan, you know, uh, I guess it's a, it's a skylight of sorts. Six feet, two inches of height in here if you stand in the fan area. The rest of the ceiling is about six feet even. So uh, you taller guys will have to crouch a little bit. There's no vanity in this bathroom, so they've tried to maximize space that way. And when you're sitting on the commode, I mean, we're so crooked, I'm falling off the daggone commode in here. But anyway, it passes the elbow test for the most part. Um, terrific little camper. We've enjoyed shooting it even though we're on a hill. This travel trailer is the Coachman Clipper 17 BH s and it is 20 feet 5 inches long the unloaded vehicle weight on this one is 3342 pounds when you add in the cargo carrying capacity of 1066 pounds that puts the gvwr at 4408 pounds still a pretty small and light trailer that will be easy to tow behind a lot of different vehicles when you first walk in the door into this particular camper, everything's right here in front of you, the dinette's straight ahead, and you have your bed off to the right-hand side here. Now this bed looks to me to be about a full-size bed, and yep, it's 54 inches wide, it's 73 inches long. So I'll get the ceiling height while I've got my measuring tape out, and I'm thinking about it. Ceiling height in here is six feet, six inches tall. Now what you'll notice about this bed up front is that it's got this handle underneath and this allows you to easily lift this up and it's got a really big storage area under here and it's also accessible from outside the trailer there's a door on each side so you can get to the storage area from outside as well and then at the head of the bed it's got a nice shelf and then it's also got this little these little cubby areas back here that you can store things and then of course you've got a receptacle and a usb port as well it's also got windows on either side so you can get a nice cross breeze in here and there's also a light underneath of the storage cabinets which are located above and they're pretty deep there's a good amount of storage space up there for you as well so the kitchen area is an inline kitchen setup and it's got a decent amount of countertop space and in order to create the countertop space They've kind of put in a pretty small kitchen sink. It's not very deep, but it does have a gooseneck faucet ahead over top. And they give you this uh, additional piece to give you extra countertop space over top of your sink. Then you have a two burner stove here, which again, instead of the burners being next to each other, it's one in front and one behind. And that gives you more countertop space in the kitchen. Up above, they have this nice black glass door nice deep storage cabinet in here and then right next to that you have a microwave oven this is not a convection oven unfortunately but you you do have a nice microwave there and then down below there's plenty of storage space underneath the kitchen sink as we move on back through the kitchen you can see that there's a good size refrigerator and separate freezer as well so the dinette is right across from the kitchen. You could easily seat four people here. This is a little bit different of a dinette setup than I've seen in a lot of campers. This one has a table that stands up on its own. You can fold that, fold the legs up and under, and then the table comes across to create another sleeping spot for someone. And another thing about this dinette is it's in a slide out, but there's a pretty big step up to get up into and, and seated at the dinette area but still it'll seat four people and it's plenty big and then you have a nice big window over top as well as we move back through the camper there's a set of bunk beds back here and the top bunk has its own window and usb ports and even a light and the bunk down below has usb ports and a light as well so i'm in the back of the trailer in the bathroom and this particular model has a bathtub in it you can see it's quite a bit of a step up into the tub, but if you have small kids and you wanna throw them in the bathtub, you've got a nice little bathtub to be able to do that. When you jump up in here, uh, let's see what the ceiling height is, and there's a skylight overhead, so that helps to give you a little more headroom when you're standing in here. 
and that's pretty decent because you end up with about six feet four inches of headroom when you're standing in the shower now they've also got the commode here but you'll notice that there's no vanity in here so you'll have to wash your hands out at the kitchen sink but in a very small camper like this it's actually a pretty good layout and plenty of room here in the bathroom as well this travel trailer is the Gulfstream and Lighten model number 25BH. And Gulfstream and Lightens, by the way, if you might have heard me say this before, but they're only available at Camping World locations. Gulfstream makes the Enlighten just for Camping World. But this is a cool trailer. It is 26 feet, 7 inches long. It has a dry weight of 4,222 pounds, but the GVWR is 7580, so the cargo carrying capacity in this trailer is really impressive at 3,358 pounds. So you could load up all your gear, groceries, supplies, and really have room to spare in this particular model. It sleeps up to five people, but I would say four people very comfortably without having to turn the dinette into a bed. Now, when you first walk into this camper, you walk right into a very open area that features a queen, short queen size bed on the right hand side and there are wardrobe cabinets on each side of the bed. There's also a receptacle and USB ports on each side of the bed as well. Now this queen size bed measures in at 60 inches wide and 74 inches long. So it is definitely uh, what we would consider a short queen in this particular model. Also has a curtain that you can draw across for a little bit of privacy. Um, as you walk straight in, you've got the kitchen area straight ahead of you. Now this kitchen, I really like the sink. It's got a nice wide, deep double bowl sink in here. Nice gooseneck faucet. Overhead, you've got a big storage cabinet. And down below the sink, there's additional storage and also some drawer space as well. Right next to the kitchen sink, you've got a two burner range, a little bit of storage down below that as well. And then up above, you have a microwave oven. This is not a convection microwave and there's no oven in here. So just a regular microwave oven. Directly across from the kitchen, you have a dinette that could easily seat four people Nice large window over top of the dinette, and then of course, plenty of storage over top of that as well. So right next to the rest of the kitchen and across from the dinette, I have a nice big refrigerator in here with a separate freezer, which we always think is a great idea. We have that in our RV and we really like it. And then right next to the refrigerator, you've got some nice deep pantry cabinets with built-in shelving in here. They don't appear to be adjustable, but uh, there are one, two, three, four different drawers that you could use to stow away canned goods and things like that. Now, while we're in the main living part of the RV real quick, let's just take a look at the ceiling height in here. And that is measuring in at about 80 inches tall. So, you know, about six feet, eight inches. So for you taller guys, I think you'll be able to fit in here pretty good. Now, as we move back through, uh, one feature that this trailer has is that it's got the vanity outside of the bathroom. So it's got a sink and some storage space located down below. And then above the sink location, it's got a medicine cabinet, which I think is a great idea because you can put all your stuff in here and it's a great place to store things. Right across from the vanity cabinet, you have your bunk beds. There's an upper bunk and a lower bunk, um, and they're really good size, nice wide bunks, so the kids could fit in here very comfortably. The bottom bunk has its own window, and um, unfortunately, there's no uh, receptacle or USB ports in these bunks, so you'll have to charge up the devices before you send the kids off to bed. So here I am in the bathroom in the very back of this trailer, and you'll notice it's got a bathtub in here. It's a small bathtub, so if you have really little kids, it would work for them, but it's quite a step up into this bathtub shower area. And standing inside of here, you know, since I have the skylight over my head, it's only six feet, two inches to the ceiling, but it's about six feet, six inches to the top of the skylight. So 
you know, as long as you're, if you're a taller guy and you stay in this area, you'll be fine. And then outside here, the commode itself, you know, plenty of room to sit on the toilet and not feel like you're really cramped. All right, this travel trailer is the J Flight SLX model number 264B. H. And I think Jayco does a great job with their floor plans, and this is certainly one of their more creative floor plans. Now, this camper weighs in at 4,904 pounds unloaded vehicle weight. It's got a cargo capacity of 1,096 pounds, so the GVWR for this trailer is 6,000 pounds even. It's 29 feet, 5 inches long, and like I mentioned, it's got a terrific floor plan. Now, when you first walk into this camper, you walk into the big kitchen and living area, but you'll notice off to the right-hand side, they've done a really nice job creating some separation between the bedroom and the rest of the camper, which I think looks really cool. Now, as you move into this area, you'll notice that on each side of the bed, you have large cabinets. On this side, it's a cabinet with shelving inside of it. That cabinet, is a wardrobe uh, closet cabinet that has a bar so you can hang things in it. And then you have some more storage space overhead. The bed itself is a queen size bed and it looks to be a short queen. It's only 74 inches long, uh, 60 inches wide. So we would consider that a short queen bed size. You'll also notice there's a nightstand on each side of the bed back here. Uh, one side has USB ports, or actually neither side has USB ports, but they both have receptacles, and you could plug in and charge a USB device just as easily. You'll also note that underneath of the bed, the whole entire mattress flips up. This is all one big giant storage compartment under here, and the front ends of it are also accessible from the outside. And one last thing to note in here is that there's a window on each side of this bedroom so you can get some cross breeze in. And then finally, uh, there's a TV location which is in the perfect spot. It's on the back of the wall here. Uh, receptacle and cable hookups are provided which makes it nice and easy to set up. You can lay in bed and watch TV. You'll notice in the living area this nice big comfy couch that I'm laying on and I think it's really cool that they have this couch built in here which separates the living and dining area from the bedroom area of the camper. But this baby jack knifes out, so one person could sleep here as well. But it's a nice, comfy sofa location, and it's in the right spot because when we work our way around to the dinette, you'll see where the TV location is. So it really works well. Uh, as you move through this trailer, you come into the kitchen area. And again, this is an inline style kitchen, which I really like because when you're working at your kitchen, everything's right in line. It's easy to get to, and it just makes sense to me that way. Now in the kitchen area, you've got a very large storage cabinet over top, nice window over top of your kitchen sink, which is a double bowl, deep sink, gooseneck faucet over top. And then you've got some full extension drawers here that pull all the way out which is really great makes getting to your utensils nice and easy more storage underneath the kitchen sink area and then we've got a three burner stove with an oven down below which is great and then even more storage down below that above we've got our range hood and then we have a microwave oven a little bit on the small side, but it's really just the perfect size for in a camper. And then you've got your refrigerator, which features a separate fridge and freezer compartment. All right, so directly across from the kitchen area, we have a dinette. Now this is large enough to pretty easily seat four people. As you can see, the table drops down and so you can take the back cushions, fill it in and make a bed here for one person. Um, it's got a nice large window over the dinette, so that always, I think, is kind of a nice feature. And then you have lots and lots of storage overhead, so that's great. You can store all kinds of stuff up there. And then your TV location is here, which I was laying on the sofa there, so it's a perfect spot to sit there and be able to watch TV. Um, not everyone's going to be able to see it from the dinette. Half the people will, half the people won't. That's how that goes. Now towards the back of this camper is where the bunk beds are located and these are oversized bunks. They're very nice size. Each bunk has its own window and it also has USB ports above and receptacles on the lower bunk. But either way, the kids can plug in their devices and they'll be good to go when they're off to sleep. Directly across from the bunks 
is where the vanity is located. It's not inside the bathroom, it's outside the bathroom. Sometimes that comes in really handy because someone can be taking a shower and someone else can come in here and use the sink and brush their teeth or whatever you're doing. But it's got a simple mirror up top, a decent sized vanity sink with some good sized counter space around it, and then lots of storage space down below. So here I am in the bathroom back here and you'll notice, you know, it's got a tub set up back here. So if you have really little kids, you can throw them in the bathtub. This is a pretty good size shower. Um, it's about just a little, almost three and a half feet wide. And it's about 22 inches wide in this direction from front to back. And one thing I really like about this shower is the curtain pulls across, but the, sh the curtain rod actually swoops out into the room, which gives you more room inside the shower before you hit the curtain. Now, ceiling height wise, uh, the standard ceiling height throughout the camper is about six feet, nine inches. So that's pretty tall. When you're standing in the shower, ceiling height drops down to six feet, two inches. But if you're inside the skylight area, you've got six feet seven inches to stand and have plenty of room in here and then of course you have your commode which passes the elbow test on one side but not the other all right this travel trailer is the forest river ibex 20 beach bhs it's 25 feet long and the unloaded vehicle weight is just 4,672 pounds. It's got a carrying capacity of 2,800 pounds, so you can put a lot of gear and supplies in here. So your total gross vehicle weight rating is 7,472 pounds. So when you first walk into this RV, it's really wide open in here. You've got your bedroom on the right, and then your kitchen and dining area on the left, and then bunks and a bathroom towards the back. But starting up here at the front of the camper, you see we have a pretty good size, queen size bed here. And let's get a measurement on it real quick. So it's 60 inches wide, and this mattress is ooh, about 78 inches long. So just a couple inches short of a full queen size bed, but a very good size short queen for sure. Now you'll notice on each side of the bed up here, that there is a wardrobe cabinet, and then there is a drawer down below. You'll also see on each side of the cabinet that you have USB ports, and behind each cabinet, there's a little cubby space back there with some extra storage as well. Also up front here, there is a receptacle, so you can plug in if you have a CPAP machine or you just need some power to plug things in you are all good to go. There's also additional storage up above and that goes back, gosh, almost a foot and a half. So it's a decent amount of storage space up there. And speaking of storage space, if you lift up the mattress, you've got some storage space under here as well. So the next area inside this trailer, we have the kitchen and it's a nice inline shaped kitchen. So everything's right in a line, which is great. Super easy to work and, and get things done in here. This has a big round single bowl sink, nice and deep. It's got a gooseneck faucet over, over it. And then up above, I like these frosted glass cabinets, nice touch. And then lots of storage up here, just one big giant cabinet with three doors. Below that, we have a three burner cooktop. And then below that, we have a convection style microwave oven, which is really super convenient. You can do a lot with that. And then next to that, we have a good size refrigerator with separate freezer on top. It's nice and deep, so you can really keep a lot of cold storage in here. Next to the refrigerator, come on back, Susan. <laughs> next to the refrigerator, there's a pantry cabinet. Uh, this is also like two feet deep all the way back in there. So a lot of storage space is built in here. Directly across from the kitchen, we have the dinette here. This can easily seat four people. And this also converts into another bed as well. I like the fact that it's got the window over top and this area slides in and out. You'll also notice underneath each side of the dinette, there's plenty of storage underneath the benches. Uh, and that goes all the way back too. So really great setup, lots of storage space in here. And then 
There's a couple of bunk beds, uh, a nice ladder to use to get up, up in and out of the bunks. A lot of times we see bunks, but we don't see the ladder. We always wonder, like, how do the kids get in and out? We just figure they, they climb up there. But in our Facebook group, people have been bringing up, like, what do you do for a ladder? So this one has one built in, which is really great. Now, each bunk has its own window, and it also has USB ports, both upper and lower. So when the kids are laying in bed they can play their games watch their video games whatever they do so this is a pretty good size bathroom back here there's plenty of room i'm standing in the shower currently and i did i'll get the ceiling measurement outside of the bath and inside or outside of the shower and inside so this ceiling height in here is six feet ten inches tall throughout the whole trailer and then when you jump up into the shower the ceiling height is about six feet three inches and there's a skylight in here so you really have as much as six feet eight inches of ceiling height inside the shower one other nice feature i like about this camper is the top track for the shower curtain actually slides out away from the shower so when you're in here it just keeps the curtain from hitting you as often which i really think is a, a cool feature uh, right next to the shower we have a medicine cabinet open area below so you can get to things then you have your vanity top just a little bit of storage underneath more storage off to the side and then of course you have your commode there's one more area in here to take a look at and there are two really big cabinets upper and lower right next to the shower so you have even more storage in here leave us a comment down below about which one of these travel trailers with bunk beds you like the best and why we would love to see what you think about all these awesome campers and we hope you've really enjoyed checking them out and speaking of check it out if you'd like to check out some of our other videos just click one of these boxes down below and don't forget to subscribe to the rv blogger youtube channel when you do and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every single week when we come out with a brand new video so for mike and Susan, thanks for watching. Leave your campsite better than how you found it, and we'll see you next time.